Okay, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to a very interesting video. You're probably wondering, why do I have a switch and a keyboard? You're about to find out. I introduce to you Nintendo Switch Nicks. Let's kick out the kickstand here. Now that you got a better view, I'm going to zoom in on the screen so you guys can check it out. Um, I wish I could hook this up to my capture card to provide you guys with a bit more of a better view, but the Switch dock does not work. So, this is Linux running on Nintendo Switch. So, of course, the Nintendo Switch is a game console. So let's play a game. This is Super Tux. One day I'm going to make a review over Super Tux because I think it's a phenomenal game. One of my favorite free platformers out there, in my opinion, better than Super Mario Chronicles is what, what they had to go against. But as you can see, uh, the only issue with Nintendo Switch Linux right now is that there is no sound. Um, but as you can tell, I have my keyboard Bluetoothed up here. Another problem with Nintendo Switch Linux is that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they can't work at the same time, but they can work. Both of them work. So I'll showcase Wi-Fi in a little bit. Let's just beat this level. Heck yeah, I get a star. Oh yeah, just killing all these guys. Um, if you guys are wondering, and you are the tech-savvy type of people, I haven't actually looked into the RAM on the Nintendo Switch Linux. Um... But I know that it, Nintendo Switch Linux, without modifications, cannot run with the full RAM. Um, it does use an ARM64 processor, which is how SuperTux is running on here. Uh, we're actually running this through an exploit. You might see a wire on the side of my Switch earlier in this video. Uh, that's actually how I'm running the exploit. I rigged a wire to the side of the Switch, connected to ground and... It boots straight into Linux. Props to, um, crap, I can't remember their name. <laughs> uh, props to Team, uh, what's he called? Team Overflow, I think? Uh, we'll go check out his Twitter page later in the video. But as you can tell, Switch Linux runs very nice. Um, Super Tux isn't skipping a beat. And I'm... It, it, it runs actually better than this runs on my school laptop. Uh, of course, my regular laptop blows the crap out of all the rest of these. But it does work, and it does work pretty well. So, uh, yeah. Let's just beat this level, and then we'll check out some of the more cool features. Oh, shoot. Perfect. Um, okay. And of course, all this works. I don't actually own a Bluetooth mouse, so we're kind of stuck with the keyboard, uh, with the touch screen. So let's go over here. Uh, we actually, for a web browser, don't fall over on me. <laughs> for a web browser, we have, of course, Google Chrome. Hold on, I'm going to throw in my password. Perfect. Google Chromium, the best app, but... If you're not a Chrome fan, and I like Chrome for heavy things, like running Firefox, I mean, for running internet, like YouTube and stuff, but I use Firefox if I'm just going to read the news and stuff like that, so Firefox is an option too, if you are into Firefox. Uh, some more things that you can do with Nintendo Switch Linux. Uh, you can do Photoshop. I will actually go get Photoshop once we get on the internet here. Settings, you got Bluetooth, you have an on-screen keyboard in case you do not have a Bluetooth keyboard like me. You can, uh, let's see how much, here it is idling and not using up too much, only about 6% of the processor, so not bad, not bad at all. Um, so, if anyone knows how to see, I really don't know how to see specs on Linux. I know, it, it's, it's a shame. I've been using Linux for years now, and I still don't know how to get to the specs. I'm, I'm a disappointment, what can I say? Hold on. And this is KDE, but other options, if you are tech savvy like me, other options you can have is Ubuntu Mate. Um, I think you can actually run. I think you can run Mate. Uh, 
So hold on, we're going to reboot into the... Now the problem is, once you have blue... So I'm going to have to disable my keyboard right now, because once I enable Wi-Fi, watch, the switch will crash. Or no Wi-Fi networks will be detected. Once it tries to connect to my Wi-Fi network, well, uh... Holy crap, I'm on the internet. <laughs> okay, uh, last time I tested this for this video, it did not go to the internet at the same time as having my keyboard Bluetoothed. Let's see, is the keyboard still attached? Yeah, the keyboard's still on. <laughs> now, the touchscreen, it's difficult to calibrate, and I'm not actually quite sure how to calibrate the touchscreen right now. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so... For anyone that does this, you do not want to build your own kernel. I built my own kernel, and trust me, it's not the way to go. You want to go with a pre-built. Hold on, let's go to YouTube. Now, sound does not work here, but everything else does. So, hold on, let's pop over to the channel. Um, if you guys are on my Discord server, I've been leaking images of this. There's my latest video. As you can see, it plays YouTube just fine, even in full screen. Hold on, go in full screen. Ugh, there. Um, it plays video just fine in full screen. Skip ahead a little bit to some live action parts. See, works great in full screen. Um, the video looks great. High quality 720p screen. Or maybe, might even be a 1080p screen. Um, let's hop over to his Twitter account. Nintendo Switch. Linux Twitter. I'm so sorry, I forgot the guy's name. Fail Overflow. Massive props to Fail Overflow for getting this all working great. Uh, dude, you're awesome. Let's check out his Twitter page so that we can browse it. You know, I actually do have a Twitter, and at one point, my Switch crashed. <laughs> it crashed. Great. Well... There you have it. I will go fix that real quick. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so we actually had to move filming locations just in case, uh, because the switch crashed and I had to move to my computer. Um, so, let's go check out his Twitter page. Uh, we're actually going to use Chromium for this, because, yeah, G Chromium's going to work better for our situation here. Because I want to show off that this is, in fact, not being treated like a mouse pointer, unlike what KDE's showing here. Um, what's it called? <laughs> Fail Overflow. That's the creator of the exploit that you're seeing right here. Let's pop over to his Twitter. He created this... Uh, he didn't come up with this exploit. Actually, there's been a bunch of... Tegra boot ROM exploits recently, but as you can see, scrolling. Let's actually zoom in. There we go. Let's wait for that to focus. Come on, focus. Ford focus. As you can see, doing not so bad, actually. Um, it scrolls well. Let's say we want to zoom in to read some text zoom out maybe we need to see the big picture so yeah one little warning i want to give you guys something i found out on my own time don't go in full screen on google chrome without a keyboard now right now i have my keyboard hooked up as you can see typing up there but if you go into full screen mode without a keyboard you're gonna get um a sneaky little surprise yeah, you can't get out. Um, yeah. But I can get out because I do have a keyboard. There we go. The password is alarm. No secrets here. On That lock takes you to the lock screen. And my camera is telling me that its battery is dying. Shut up, camera. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then you can kill Chrome. Now, if you had a real Bluetooth keyboard, I'm actually just using one that came with a Samsung Galaxy. Crap. Control. 
It's like one of these buttons. Yeah. It's control, Alt, Delete. Um, sorry for the noise, guys. Um, it's an earthquake. Let's just go with that explanation. <laughs> All processes. Let's just kill Chromium so that we can get out of full screen mode. Hold on. Now, not everything is touch interfaced, obviously. Kill. Die. There we go, we're out of full screen mode. And as you can see, how oil is made is still playing in the background. Something I noticed that um, Firefox does is once you go into full screen mode, um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on, let's hit play again. But when the camera's moving quickly, there's lines in the way, uh, which shows a slow screen refresh. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's really hard to tell in this video, but it was quite obvious in the Keck Rock, um, in real life. Keck Rock in real life. It's really obvious here because I'm jerking the camera around really quickly. Let's see, can I pick this up on camera? <laughs> okay! Just falling over here, don't mind me. Okay, hit play. Um... So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's seriously lines when I... Yeah, there, there was one. Like I said, you probably can't tell from the camera, but it's quite noticeable. Google Chrome, from what I can tell, doesn't have this issue. I'm not using official Chrome, since Chrome doesn't have a build. Chromium is what I'm using. So, yeah. Of course, you can also get apps. There is an app store, but I don't know how to use it. So instead, Linux tendencies here. I just go and I go with console. I go with the console. And I run sudo pacman s. Let's say we want to get Blender. We can get, uh, actually, let's get GIMP. And I can showcase to you guys that this does do Photoshop. Um, GIMP is pretty close to Photoshop. So as you can see, just a Linux tendency there. I tend to like to get applications through Pac-Man or Aperture if you're a Linux um, Ubuntu user. Right now, this is very difficult for the end user and does require a computer to boot up. If you guys would like me to make a tutorial... I'm open. I can make a tutorial. I'm not bad at those. As you can see, GIMP is installing. It's getting all these. And pretty quick. It's almost done since... Yeah. And I actually use Arch Linux as my main version. So, yeah. It also has printing support. Which is really weird. I'm not going to show that in this video. But you can print. Yeah. I have a wireless printer over there off camera, and in theory, I could print to it. In theory. But I'm not going to because that's a weird printer and it has weird things on it. Like, it requires a driver and stuff like that, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but, as you can tell, now when I hit the Windows key, just hit that. Windows. Or whatever. You know what I'm talking about, guys. It's... It's the KDE button down there on hands in the way. Come on, stupid thing. Okay. Let's just wait for this to boot up, and I'll run it through the command prompt. Do do do. So, yeah. If you guys would like to do this yourself, there is a great tutorial over on GBA Temp, and I'll pull that up right now. Quick. It's called Quick Tuto. How to run... Linux on the switch. It is not a quick tutorial. Far, far from it. And great, my keyboard just quit. Oh. Okay. Obviously, here's GIMP. Um, let's wait for it to run the command and we'll. I'll go back to showing you how. Well, it's not listening to my keyboard anymore. Okay, then Chromium. <laughs> Let's just go up here, and yeah, this is crashing and burning right now, trying to run GIMP. Hold on. 
Now the switch gets very hot doing this, so I don't recommend doing this for over an hour without having a cooldown period. Let's run over... <laughs> what the heck? As you guys can tell, um, this is not scripted. Um, it's over here on GBA Temp. Let's load that up. There we go. Quick t t tutorial on how to boot Linux on your Switch. This guy is extremely helpful. He helped me out. Um, very extensive tutorial. You can learn a lot. Uh, you can do a lot. And Bluetooth. Yeah. Uh, what he says about Wi-Fi, I actually proved that wrong. Wi-Fi can be used at the same time as Bluetooth. But you can't pair the Joy-Con, so don't try it. Uh, that's why. Oh, and Photoshop's open. So, yeah. There is a lot to do here. Um, especially since we're only like a year into Nintendo Switch Homebrew. And we're already doing this kind of crazy stuff. Seriously, guys, this is impressive, and I don't actually recall any period in homebrew history where a console was hacked this early. Like, one year into the Switch's release, and I'm already on Photoshop with an unpatchable exploit. Yes, this is unpatchable by any firmware. No patch Nintendo releases can fix this. So, yeah, I personally have been using this for a couple of days, posting some pics, understanding how it works, and I like it. I like it a lot. This is very, very cool. So, I think I'm going to end this off here on a high note, on a good note, before it crashes again. Um, like I said, early, early stuff, but very cool in the process. If you guys want a tutorial, just tell me. I will make a tutorial because I love this. I love it. It's it's awesome. Sorry about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to click like, click subscribe, do all these things. I don't know why I'm telling you these things. Click subscribe or your house will get blown up. That's, that's a good enough motive. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. And also, go get this. Give this guy all the love and support he needs on Twitter. His Twitter page will be in the description. Wow. Nintendo Switch homebrew. What's next? Ah. See you guys later. And peace out, yo. Ah, please, please, end my suffering. Hey, guys. Just po popping in here late in post to showcase to you guys that, yes, Retro Arch is completely possible on Nintendo Switch to prove that. As you can tell, boot into Retro Arch. And as a quick bonus, I know what all of you are saying, and I've read your comments, and I am happy to reply with yes. It can, in fact, Run Doom. Yes, it can. Just proof. It is running Doom in real time here. We are playing Doom on the Nintendo Switch. I know the Nintendo Switch could already run Doom, but that's the new Doom. This is classic Doom. So, yeah. It can run Doom. Thank you for... You know what? This is stupid. Get me out of here. I'm done.